This is Lesson 7-3, Part 2. In this video, we will learn how to graph a logarithmic equation and then find domain, range, asymptotes, and the x-intercept. And we'll also learn how to graph translations of a logarithmic equation. So the logarithmic equation is the inverse to the exponential equation. So first we'll graph this exponential equation. When x is 0, y would be 1. When x is 1, y would be 3. So we can plot these points, put in the asymptote, and draw the curve. So if the logarithmic equation is the inverse to the exponential equation, if we switch x and y, we get this. And then we would choose our y values to be 0 and 1 and calculate our x values to be 1 and 3. So the graph would go here instead. And the asymptote, instead of being on the x-axis, would be on the y-axis because we're switching x and y. So then the curve would look like this. If we were to rewrite our exponential equation in logarithmic form, we would have log base 3 of x equals y. So that's how we would graph the logarithmic equation. Then to find the domain, um, the domain of our exponential equation is all real numbers because it continues to the left and the right. But the range is limited by the asymptote, so the range would be all real numbers where y is greater than 0. So if we switch x and y, then the domain to the logarithmic function would be the range to the exponential function. So the domain is all real numbers where x is greater than 0, as we can see from the asymptote. And the range is just all real numbers. So if we wanted to graph a logarithmic function with translations, we would start by graphing the parent function. So writing that in exponential form, we would have 4 to the y equals x. Making the xy table, we would choose 0 and 1 for our y values and calculate the x values to be 1 and 4. We put these on as temporary points because we're going to move them through the translation. And then the minus 3 here says we're going to go right 3. And the plus 4 says we'll go up 4. So each point goes right 3 and up 4. So there's one point, right 3, up 4. And the asymptote also goes right 3. So our graph is going to be in this location. The domain is going to be all real numbers where x is greater than 3, and the range will be all real numbers.